So the movie Can You See Us has brought a lot of questions that people are asking. And um, I've done a video where I've responded to some of the questions, but there is one more question that people are asking is about uh, the condition itself, albinism. Uh, what is it? Why is it a big deal? And, and I'm, uh, I'm receiving questions from people from abroad and they are wondering, but why is this really an issue in Africa? Uh, what condition is this? Uh, some people cannot see the difference uh, between albinism and other races. And some people are wondering, is this a race? Is this, what is really this condition all about? And why is it an issue? Why do we have to make a movie? Uh, about this condition so i just want to clear that out and uh, i hope that you um, your question will be answered and i hope that you watch the film if you have not watched the film can you see us well go on netflix and watch the film it's a very very powerful film, zambian film and it's available on netflix now what is albinism and why is it a big issue okay so Albinism, guys, it's uh, albinism is a condition. It's a genetic condition that results in the lack of melanin in the skin, in the hair, and also in the eyes. So someone is born with this condition. It's an inheritance. You inherit certain genes from your parents, and when a child is being born in the womb, a child will be born with the condition. Okay, So it's not something that you acquire when you are born. You have to be born with it and you have to inherit certain genes. They call them the albinism genes from the parents. Now, where do the parents get them from? Well, they also get them from their parents. So they also get them, so it goes down and goes, it's, it is, it is uh, the genes are, uh, are given from parents to parents, parents to children, parents to children. So if I have the albinism gene, I will pass it on to my children. The children will pass, pass them on to their children and it goes like that, okay? So if you want to check the history of albinism, you have to go behind. You have to go back. You have to go back to your grandparents, your great, great, great grandparents. And that is why you find. You don't have to look uh, elsewhere like sisters, brothers, wife. So it, ca it cannot be passed either way. Uh, or side by side, it can only be passed from one parent to the other. So this condition, you are born with it, so a child is born without melanin. So for you to understand it, it means we have to understand what is this melanin. So uh, I'm not a scientist, guys, I'm not a doctor, so I'm just trying to, uh, to explain in a way that you would understand. So for you to understand the melanin, I will tell you the, the duties of melanin. melanin. Melanin has got two main functions. And when you understand the job of melanin, you understand uh, albinism as well. So one, melanin is responsible for the complexion, for the coloring of the body. So your complexion, you look light, you look dark, you look brown, whatever, that complexion that you have, that is the job of melanin, okay? The other job of melanin is to protect your body or your skin from the sun. That is why when you walk too much in the sun or if you, in, uh, people who stay in, in countries where it is very sunny, they look darker. Uh, even you, if you expose yourself too much in the sun, you start turning and uh, you become darker. That is melanin. Melanin increases to protect your skin from the sun. If you are not exposing yourself in the sun, maybe you work in an office and you spend so much time in it does, melanin production will reduce and you begin to look lighter because you are not exposing yourself in the sun. The moment you expose too much yourself in the sun, the production of melanin in your body increases and the people will be seeing that ah, you are looking darker. So that is just to give an example of what melanin does. So albinism is a condition where people are born without melanin. Okay? They are born without that component. So one, they don't have the complexion. It's difficult to tell the complexion. You can't say people with albinism are white or are black or are brown because they don't, there is no melanin, so it's difficult to tell. But also, they don't have the protection from the sun, so they, they are not supposed to expose themselves too much in the sun. The sun can damage their skin because there is no protection. Now, this condition, albinism, guys, it is not a race. It's not a race. It is not a tribe. 
but the condition comes from different races and different tribes so don't think when you see a person with albinism like ah, that is another race they belong they've got their own continent their own country where they belong no 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 no. albinism is found in all races so be it white indians chinese whatever race that we have on this earth albinism is found everywhere okay so have it get it right get it right so here in africa it is found there in, in abroad in white and whatever there are all types of albinism every race has this condition and it also happens on it also happens in animals guys so albinism also happens in animals so an animal will be born without melanin and it will look different if you look at uh, the albino elephant for example elephant that has albinism it won't have the normal color that elephants have it will look white so there are albino frogs snakes birds amphibians whatever types of animals so albinism also happens in animals just search for albino animals or animals with albinism you see so many pictures uh, of animals that have albinism okay so albinism happens in animals now it it is when it happens in plants plants don't survive with this condition so if it happens in plants plants will not survive and plants will die so it is only animals and us humans who are able to survive this condition when it happens because in plants uh, think of it like a plant which has no chlorophyll it won't survive so albinism in, in plants plants don't survive when it happens but in animals and humans if if it happens a child will be born with albinism and that child will grow normally and they will survive the condition they will live with the condition and they can live to as many years as they can okay so this is the condition guys so what you are seeing in the movie can you see us the characters there uh, these people have albinism and now you are wondering why why is it a, a big issue why should we talk about albinism okay because i mean there are people right yes there are people they are just this is just a genetic condition well it, it's a big problem here in africa because albinism is is must mis misunderstood there are a lot of misconception beliefs that surround the condition so in africa people with albinism face many challenges uh, because one they look different because africa as um, if you look at the complexion and the people and whatever the race uh, most people in africa are, are black people so people with albinism when they are born in this environment they look very different they look white in a black environment so imagine two parents who are black they have a child who is white different from them so this is very strange to them it, it they become confused like why should we have a white child as we are black i mean if albinism happens and when it happens for example in in whites where white people have a child with albinism there is no much difference there they may even think this child is white but when actually the child has albinism but when albinism happens in the black community where people who are black have a white child that becomes an issue because it is very visible you can tell from a father that that child is different so the main problem here guys is just information many people lack information on this condition they don't know why they have this child they don't know how come so they have so many beliefs others even think like albinism is contagious like you can have it you can catch it like the way you catch a cord so they will not associate with people with albinism so that is why here in africa albinism is a very very big challenge it's a big issue and we really have to talk about it okay so let's end here for today i'll be coming back with more interesting videos uh, that will talk about interesting issues whether it's albinism and music and other things that you'd like me to talk about okay so write in the comments what question do you have or what topic do you want me to talk about and i'll make a video for you all right and if you are new to my channel kindly subscribe to my channel like the video uh, say something nice to encourage me and also you know share this video with your family and friends okay yes yes my music is there too so you can enjoy my music you can stream my music download it online and just support me so that i keep doing what i'm doing so i'll see you guys and uh, if you have not watched the movie remember the movie is out can you see us watch it on netflix and let me hear what your thoughts